Hello, welcome to the weather update. It's 9.30, July 23rd, 2022, and another hot one. However, while it was very hot today, the humidity was lower, and as a result, we actually had some clearer-looking skies uh, today. It uh, wasn't quite as hazy as it has been. The air quality was a little better. Uh, and this is what the satellite looked like much of the day, and you can see there was a sea, br weeks, a sea breeze that really didn't get going until later. Look at that, more pronounced over New Jersey there. There actually was a sea breeze front developing over New Jersey as well. You can see there. Uh, looking at the current satellite right now, just some high clouds around. Um, and not, not really too much, just some scattered high clouds. That's, that's pretty much about it right now. Uh, but uh, let's go and look at uh, what it was like. At Yes, I did actually go and take a little walk outside this evening or late this afternoon around Eisenhower Park. Because I just needed to see some trees, especially some pine trees. So uh, we did that, and I have a short video of that uh, a little later on. But uh, uh, let's uh, talk about what we got going on out, out there right now. And you can see heat advisory remains in effect for tomorrow. Um, and we're going to look at our current temperatures and dew points. You'll see it's pretty warm out there still. Uh, we got 81 at Farmingdale. And it's 83 in the alley right now. Um, very weak sea breeze. Uh, the humidity has come up a lot. Uh, it actually was much lower earlier. It felt better earlier, actually, a couple of hours ago versus now. And uh, you'll see why. Let's go and look at Farmingdale. And you'll see what I mean with the, the humidity. It just shot up. Uh, so you can see, look at these dew points. Much lower earlier on. We had dew points. Uh, this is when I was out. Even though we were in the low 90s, uh, dew points were in the low 60s. So it didn't feel quite as bad. Even though there was... A south southwest wind, um, not really much of an effect from that south southwest wind at all. Um, not much of a sea breeze. The wind's pretty much off the land, off Jersey uh, today, with mid highs in the mid 90s. But you can see the dew points started going up around 7:45. That's when we started seeing that humidity start increasing, um, and now it's just back to being disgustingly humid out there with the dew point of 72. So it feels worse now than it did a couple of hours ago. Uh, let's go look at Islip. So at 79 with a dew point of 73. So you can see the dew points have really shot up uh, in the past hour or so. And again, earlier on, you look at some of these observations here, you'll see dew points in the low 60s. So that made things, even though it was in the 90s, the dew points were lower, and that made it better. Uh, once the temperature shot up, uh, once the dew points came up, then it started feeling more uncomfortable. Um, so let's go look at our highs and lows across the area. And I'm sure it was pretty hot pretty much everywhere across the area. So let's take a look at our highs. We'll forget about our lows. We'll just look at our highs. Uh, that's what it's all about right now. And you can see ice look got up to 93, 91 at Dubreskis. There was a bit of a sea breeze today. 97 at Farmingdale, 97 at JFK, 97 at LaGuardia. So we, that was closer to what we were here in Mineola. We were like around 97. It was absolutely brutal. It was much hotter in Mineola. I got to East Meadow. It felt, it, well, we were around 96, 97. East Meadow was around 90. So for whatever reason it was, it was cooler. There was some sort of sea breeze going, I guess. Um, but the humidity, there was something, some kind of cooling effect coming in off the ocean. Uh, but the humidity has increased tonight. So uh, you can see there, and it's still 84 in the park, uh, the Central Park at 94. Newark, no, that's not Newark. That's Newark. They got up to 101 today. <laughs> 101 at Newark. That's that's unbelievable there. 101. That's Newark right there. That's incredible. So Jersey, pretty much near around 100 degrees today. Uh, 95 in downtown Tom's River. 97 in Berkeley. 99 at Lakehurst. Um, but if you're right along, it was a bit of a sea breeze here that wound up developing in some of these coastal areas. Uh, so we're going to look at this as well on here. Let's go to this station here in Berkeley Township, which is 80 degrees. The dew point is 72. And this was inland, so they were dealing with the mid night. They were dealing with the mid nineties. Dew points a little higher there, not quite as low, but you could see the east wind here. That's a sea breeze right there in Jersey. So they did actually get a sea breeze, uh, but again, they, they, it doesn't really go that far inland. So you have to go if you're right along the water here, like Island Heights, for instance. Um, get more of a sea breeze, I think, over there. Uh, but they were more humid as well as a result. But you could see, yeah, they were only in the upper 80s with the east wind. So there was actually a sea breeze in Jersey today, uh, right along the immediate shore. They actually got a sea breeze, uh, which is very interesting. Uh, lately, I'm noticing that they get they get a sea breeze sometimes. Depends. It just depends. But if you have a 
you know, the gradient between uh, that gets so hot inland and the water is still cool, much cooler. Even if the water temperatures are in the mid 70s, the sea surf inland, it's in the 90s, so it's still enough to pull the sea breeze in against the gradient wind on the Jersey Shore. Um, but the sea breeze just doesn't go as far as Long Island. Um, so let's go to the underground. We'll look at a few more observations here. A few more observations and show you that you'd have to be right along the shore to really feel the effects of the sea breeze. So let's take a look at the salt air here. And you have to go right along. Let's see what they got up to. They still got up to 91. So before the sea breeze kicked, uh, before there was a sea breeze at 10, they went... Uh, we're at 91, but then it was down to the mid-80s. They had a sea breeze the rest of the day, but more humid. But more humid, that's the thing. Uh, let's look at uh, where I was today, which is East Meadow. We'll use this station here. And there, because it didn't really feel that bad uh, there. So it's 79.3, so they did get up to 95. Uh, but you can see, yeah, it dropped off a little later on there. Ni uh, 90s and then upper 80s mid 80s and then the dew point started creeping up toward the evening you could see that dew point starting to creep up there so i feel like i said it feels worse now than it did earlier uh so let's take a look at tomorrow's weather here we'll go to the h triple r i'm only going to cover tomorrow we'll talk more about the week ahead uh tomorrow night uh so this is the zero z h triple r run and as far as chances of showers and thunderstorms go it looks like it keeps most of it to the north of us tomorrow uh, it wouldn't really be until a Monday that we would have to worry about possible severe weather. And that's our next threat for severe weather would be Monday. And you can see there's a V-shape in the isobars there, which could mean more severe weather for a Monday afternoon. Um, let's go now to the dew points. So as we look at our winds and dew point, you see that killer west wind. We start off with the killer west wind again tomorrow. But it, and then the dew points somehow drop again because we have more of a west wind in the early part of the day. But then the south wind comes in in the afternoon, and that brings the dew points way up. And it will be a much stronger sea breeze tomorrow, I think, uh, versus tonight. Um, uh, and then as we head into Monday, you'll see again we've got that southwest flow, pretty much a south south, pretty much a southwest to south southwest flow, which will mean uh, there'll be a big difference between inland and the shore. There'll be more of a pronounced sea breeze uh, tomorrow. We'll probably definitely do 90 again. Monday, maybe not. We'll have to see, depending on the cloud cover. And here comes that front that we'd have to be concerned ourselves for Monday. And that, like I said, is our next chance for severe weather. Uh, let's go look at our temperatures here. We'll look at first tomorrow here in the HRRR and see tomorrow. We're going to probably be doing mid-90s again on Long Island. Uh, Jersey, similar way you were today, close to 100 degrees. Um, and then not dropping off much at night. And then for your Monday, Long Island may avoid seeing 90s. But Jersey will be definitely dealing with some 90s, uh, according to this HRRR model. Um, the, ne the next thing we will look at here is the skies. I'm going to just go over this briefly. We'll have some cirrus around, I think, tomorrow. Not quite as clear as today, probably. Let's see. So, yeah, there'll be some cirrus around, but there'll still be plenty of sun. And then we'll have to watch out for the possibility, like I said, of thunderstorm activity. We can look at the NAM as well. Um, this is the NAM. Uh, cloud cloud model, but I want to go to the precipitation model. Uh, so if we look at the precipitation model, you'll see it it does pop up some thunderstorms over eastern Pens southeastern Pennsylvania that may affect parts of New Jersey. We'll have to see, but just because of the air mass we're in, we'll have to watch. And you can see it's firing some intense storms up to the north, but then they fall apart, uh, and then it's Monday. This is the day that we have to watch. Monday evening for a line of severe thunderstorms in the evening. This could be a big, a, bit, a bad one on Monday evening. So that that's something we're going to have to watch. The models are really gung-ho on it, and the orientation at the front and everything supports it. So we could see some action with severe weather come Monday evening. Uh, it's going to be very interesting for sure. Uh, let's now go to the uh, RGM, I guess. RGM. Oh, not the RGM. Let me go to the... Uh, um, Storm Prediction Center. That'll be the last thing we'll check. And I'm pretty sure that they're going to put us in, and it's not even loading. What is going on here? Why is it not loading? There are a lot of people are depending on this. All right. So let's go to the Convective Outlook. This is the current one. Let's go to Day 2. This is Day 2. All right. So this is for tomorrow, I believe. 
And this is day three. This is Monday. They put us in a slight risk. So uh, I think Monday is going to be a very interesting day, <laughs> say the least. I think we're going to be in for some pretty bad thunderstorms. And it's going to be it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'm also looking forward to it because it's going to bring an end to this ridiculous heat. Uh, but anyway, um, that's going to be it for this weather update. Stay cool. Uh, we got one more really brutal day tomorrow, and then things should ease. Have a good night.